and welcome back to another episode of Tim Short CDJR Classic Cars. Today's Classic Trucks. We're vintage trucks. Uh, it's an 85 model, so you can pick. Um, I'm not choosy. Call it vintage, classic. Um, either way, I'm an antique compared to this. <laughs> but we've got a awesome color, like a, I don't know if you call it, that's not a tangerine, but kind of like a creamsicle C10. Factory short bed truck, too, with no rust on it whatsoever. It's a super clean truck. Uh, 383 stroker motor, uh, four speed transmission. Uh, got plenty to get up and go with that 400 turbo. Uh, got shift kit in it. So it, it's a great running wheel truck. I did a little walk around here of it. It does have the door handle shaved. Uh, I've not had a chance to take care of the door handles yet, but they are shaved. Reaching through the side glass, what I've been doing. Open door here. Interior is new on the truck. Headliner's done. I've got an AC compressor order for it also. The AC compressor's weak. So I put one of those on for the new owner. It's actually a CT. I guess that'd be a C1500, not a C10. High Sierra Classic. Love the body modes on this truck. 22 inch US mag wheels, middle tires. New bed cover. Let's see. Underneath this truck. Clean as a pin, no rust in the floor pans. It's got a sound system in it too with a big screen. I'll show you in a second. I don't think I got to that. Shaved door handle on the trunk. Or the tailgate, not a trunk. She don't have a car trunk. New door exhaust. Somebody's put in some aftermarket headlights on it. Super straight little truck. She looks like she's got about a 3.5 drop on her. It's got one little space right here. Windshield chip. Guys goes around and fixes those all the time. I'm just not seeing him yet. Got the, what they call that grill back in the day. It wasn't like a uh, stealth or something like that. I can't remember what they used to call that. It had a cool name to it. Paint's really nice on the truck. She's probably a eight out of 10, something like that. I can't find any runs or it's got anything like that to it. Just got a little wire like right here. They didn't mask off the greatest in the world. Just that one little corner. But other than that, it looks good. The, the big screen it's got. Let me pop the hood on it. Tilt steering. <sighs> Motor on this truck is like new. Someone's just built it and put it in. And usually when you see these trucks, when they do that, they don't ever hook the AC back up on them. They always just leave them unhooked. That's for the sound system there. They always just leave them unhooked, never put the compressor back on or anything like that. They did put the compressor on. She's got a little bit of a bearing rattle inside of her, so she'll be fixed. She'll be here today. It's got a new alternator on it. Pulleys are new, new fuel pump. To market distributor. She's got remote start also. I started up.
no smoke. There's a heads up. You know something about boss audio. Shut her off. Before I die of carbon monoxide poison. But anyways, guys, if you're looking for a super nice square body truck, uh, you know, I, she's not a cheap truck. We're asking 30 grand for her, but we've had a lot less trucks bring the same money. Uh, and also, I know I've, I've seen people comment on her stuff as far as dealer fees and stuff like that. We don't have dealer fees we get with these vehicles. Um, it, when I say a price of 30000 that thirty grand is including any kind of dealer fee. The only thing it doesn't cover is your state sales tax, um, and that's you know it's your baby you off that. Uh, but anyway, financing available, approved credit up to on this truck. I can probably get ninety four months uh, shipping anywhere you want to ship it to. Uh, and this month, uh, to the end of this month, I'm doing free shipping on anything that you purchase from us. So uh, we've sent one to California, San Jose this week, and got another one getting ready to go to Flushing, Michigan. So. You know, we always uh, do our best to accommodate the new folks, uh, any, any new customers, any previous customers. Um, you know, I, I, we've only been doing this a couple months, but I've been doing this for 20 something years. So it's not like uh, it, this is my first rodeo or anything. So if y'all have any questions, please, please feel free to give me a, a message, uh, a comment on YouTube, uh, Facebook, wherever you like to. Tim Short Classics is our company Facebook page. Uh, and you can look me up at Sean, S-H-A-W-N, and then the letter N, and then Cindy, C-Y-N-D-I, which is my better half. Uh, look us up and check us out and see that we've got 100% um, positive reviews on Facebook, 100% out of 739, I think, on eBay. So, uh, you know, we, we try to stand behind what we sell. Thank you, guys. We hope you all have a great day, and God bless you.